Imagine the shockwaves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it's real. That's exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yasa Flux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hush tones is now front and center. And this isn't just any motor. Early reports claim it's so powerful, so radically different, that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries could be flipped on its head. But the big question remains, what makes this engine so special? Is it truly the game changer the industry has been waiting for, or is it just another flashy promise destined to fade away? And if it really delivers, could Tesla's EV dominance finally be under threat? One thing is certain, revolutions in car tech don't just appear overnight, they're born from years of research, hidden experiments, and carefully guarded strategies. The Yasa Flux engine is no different. Many assume it surfaced suddenly, but in reality, Mercedes has been quietly working on it for years out of the spotlight with no grand claims, no hype, just relentless work behind the scenes. That silence was all part of Mercedes's master plan. Let's rewind. Between 2010 and 2015, the EV wave exploded and Tesla proved with its early models that electric cars weren't just the future, they were already here. Mercedes, watching closely, knew one thing. If they wanted to stay relevant, betting only on batteries wasn't enough. They had to reinvent the motor itself. That's when their eyes landed on a small but brilliant British company, Yasa. This startup was already experimenting with axial flux motors, and their early prototypes hinted at a technology that could completely reshape the industry. Mercedes saw the potential, stepped in with support, and by 2019 they took full control of Yasa. That move laid the foundation for what is now being called one of the most disruptive engines in modern automotive history. From the outside, it looked like a simple business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes poured millions of dollars into the project, gave Yasa full funding, and put hundreds of engineers to work day and night. Over the past decade, this quiet partnership transformed into one of Mercedes's boldest innovations. The company kept the project so secret that even industry experts had no clue. People assumed Mercedes was just focused on luxury EVs, but behind closed doors, they were building an engine that could shift the direction of the auto industry. The second big factor in this master plan was timing. Mercedes never rushed to launch the technology. They knew that if they released an incomplete or weak product, companies like Tesla or BYD would ridicule it immediately. So they tested it thoroughly. Thousands of hours of driving, simulations, experiments in every condition, until they were fully confident. Only then did they announce it to the world. This move shows how much Mercedes has learned. Tesla enters the market with a lot of noise. But Mercedes kept quiet waited for the right moment, and then struck. This is their master plan. Say less, do more. So, what is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it for a second. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine, right? Once upon a time, petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it, and honestly, discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine, and why is it considered so special? Let's break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing, and flux simply means magnetic flow. Now understand this. Electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky, they take up more space and weigh a lot more, but the magic of the Yasa Flux engine is that it's very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called Axial Flux. Now, what does Axial Flux mean? Let's put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an Axial Flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin round plate. So, the same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it's pretty clear that the flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is, well, its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. But this does not mean that it will always be expensive. 
as mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now, let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of an axial flux motor is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and honestly, it is not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in hundreds of thousands of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may grow further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now, the question arises, when and how will the Yasa flux engine arrive in future cars? Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. Its advantage in SUVs will be that despite being a heavy vehicle, the flux engine will give more torque and more power, making the driving experience of the SUV even more fun. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque. Flux engines deliver more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. If we look at the picture, after 2030, the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today, every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars. In the coming time, every company could move towards motor technology like flux. It is possible that in the coming 7 to 8 years, this technology will become so common that even cheap electric cars will start getting flux engines. But here, a monumental question arises, one that hangs over every groundbreaking announcement in the automotive world. Is the Yasa flux engine truly the undeniable future of the EV industry? Or is it merely the latest in a long line of corporate promises that shine brightly on the stage, only to dim under the harsh lights of reality? The annals of the auto industry are littered with such examples, technologies heralded as revolutionary that ultimately failed to deliver on their grand claims once they faced the ultimate judges, production lines, and the everyday consumer. The real, unforgiving test for the flux engine will not occur in the controlled environment of a laboratory or on the pristine surface of a test track. Its true trial by fire will begin the moment it is fitted into the vehicles of everyday customers. This is when we will see if its revolutionary power density translates into real-world range that alleviates anxiety, not just impressive numbers on a spec sheet. This is when we will learn if its compact, lightweight design yields tangible benefits in interior space and driving dynamics that the average driver can actually feel. Most importantly, this is when we will discover if its complex architecture can withstand the grueling, unpredictable demands of daily commutes, school runs, and long road trips for years on end, without exorbitant maintenance costs or reliability issues. The proof will be in the pavement, measured not in kilowatts or newton meters, but in customer satisfaction, long-term durability, and sustained performance long after the initial novelty is worn off. So now, the decision is yours to ponder. We stand at a potential inflection point. Do you believe that the Yasaflux engine represents a fundamental leap, a genuine paradigm shift that will finally render traditional bulky electric motors obsolete, thereby accelerating the EV revolution and redefining performance and efficiency for a new generation? Or do you view it with a skeptical eye, predicting it will follow the path of other fleeting technologies, initially captivating but ultimately fading into obscurity within a few years, unable to overcome the immense hurdles of cost, mass production and material scarcity? Is this the dawn of a new electric age, or simply a brilliant flash in the pan? We are genuinely keen to hear your perspective. What is your informed opinion on this? Do the potential benefits outweigh the proven challenges? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. Let's get a conversation started about the future we are all driving towards. And yes, a sincere thank you for investing your time and staying with us until the very end of this video. Your curiosity is what fuels these explorations. If you want to continue this journey of discovery with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
We are committed to bringing you more of these amazing, deeply researched and true stories from the frontiers of technology and innovation.